So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 19 here and today we have some pretty awesome action figure news so let's get into it right away and start it off here with the Marvel Select Planet Hulk and this isn't the Gladiator Hulk from Thor Ragnarok this is just their version of Planet Hulk and this is going to be releasing next month in October and it is a Disney Store exclusive and it is available for pre-order right now since it is going to be releasing next month but I'm a very big fan of the Planet Hulk story and I always dig the way he looked the, the just the whole concept of Planet Hulk is just awesome and I think I might be picking up this figure just because Planet Hulk is just badass and it's a really a really cool looking figure I do like Diamond Selects uh, Hulk figures that they do make so pretty excited for this one here all right so next here Mafex just announced another Joker from their Dark Knight trilogy line and this is going to be the cop version and I could care less about the cop version the only reason why I want this figure is for that extra alternate head and then the interchangeable arms right there and then you connect those with their new version 2.0 Joker and you can recreate the interrogation scene Joker. So very excited about that. Like I said, that's the only reason why I'm getting this figure for those accessories because that's one of my favorite scenes and I've been wanting an import company to make that interrogation scene Joker figure. So very excited about this. Not sure when it's going to release. I'm guessing sometime in the middle of 2018 once I find out more information. I will let all of you know. And next here, Mesco just announced and revealed another exclusive Ascending Batman and this is going to be the all black version and it will be going up for pre-order tomorrow on Batman Day so for all you Batman fans here is a very cool looking exclusive Batman figure for you. Alrighty so now moving on to Naruto right here is the Mega House Variable Action Heroes DX line so these are the 12 inch scale figures I believe and this is going to be releasing January of 2018 and he is available for pre-order right now so if you want to get this amazing looking Kakashi for your collection National Chance to pre-order him. And this Kakashi really does look phenomenal. I want to get this so badly, but I do not collect one-sixth scale figures. And this one is just way too expensive for me to afford. I believe he's around like 200 bucks, and that's just way too much money for a figure. If you collect this line and you love Kakashi and Naruto, I would highly recommend getting this. But you got to be careful with Meg House and their QC issues. But this figure really does look great and I just it, it makes me want to buy it but I know I can so continuing with Naruto but now moving to the SH figure arts line we have a new reveal and it is going to be Boruto and this is going to be releasing in March of 2018 and he is a web exclusive but that doesn't really matter to us in the US because Bluefin will be distributing this figure and he is available for pre-order right now if you do buy him in Japan he will be will be much more expensive compared to buying him in the US and he is available for pre-order right now at agelessgeeks.com and then you could also get 5% off by entering in codename Daredevil so you do save yourself a little bit of money but I don't know how I feel about Tamashii Nations jumping into Baruto right now in the SH Figure Arts Naruto line I would just I wish they would just focus more on Shippuden characters because there's so many other characters they could be making right now but since they're doing it if they are going to continue with Barto characters. They really need to make an adult Sasuke and Mitsuki. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Because uh, those are my two favorite characters so far in the show. But going to buy this figure regardless because I am loving the SH Figure Arts Naruto line. So finally, moving on to the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball line. Right here we have Majin Vegeta and there is still no release date for him. And since Goku Black is going to be releasing in March, I thought Majin Vegeta was going to release in February. But now it looks like he's going to be releasing most likely in April. I wish he was releasing before Goku Black. And speaking of Goku Black, right here we have the promo images and more info about the SH Figure Arts Goku Black figure and he is going to be releasing in March of 2018 as I just said and he will be a web exclusive but that won't really matter if you're going to be buying him from Bluefin. If you get him from Japan of course he's going to be more expensive but he is available for pre-order right now so if you want to get this awesome looking figure for your collection better hurry up and pre-order him. And he is also available for pre-order right now at agelessgeeks.com and then you could get 5% off by entering in codename 
Daredevil, so you could save yourself a little bit of money there, but very excited for this figure to release. Really glad they included the Super Saiyan Rose head. That is how I will have this figure displayed. If you're a fan of Super, you must be super excited about this. If you're not, then that sucks for you, but the figure really does look great. Even though I would rather them release Majin Vegeta first, this figure looks like they did a very nice job with it, and I cannot wait to get it. And the next super character they release better be a damn hit. But anyway, that is all the action figure news I have for you as of right now. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell icon. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, just give it a thumbs up anyway because action figures are awesome. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.